You're new to growing a beard, or you're new to taking care of a beard, and you start to think to yourself, man, there are so many different beard products out there, and I don't know when to start using each of the different types. Well, hey, you found the right spot. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I promise I have the answers for you guys. If you don't mind, real quick, hit a thumbs up on this YouTube video if you're excited to learn, and especially if you're trying to really get to know your beard and how to take care of it, please consider subscribing. I know you'll find some information that's really valuable, and shout out to those returning subscribers that are not new, that don't need to learn this stuff, but you just like it for entertainment or just supporting the platform. So for me, there are two different types of beard products. And I don't think I've actually broken it down like this in my 1.4 plus thousand videos that I've made. There are products that are designed for the skin and the beard hairs. And then there are beard products that are designed only for the hairs. The ones that are designed for the skin and hair should be used from day one. The day you decide you're gonna start growing your beard, you're gonna stop shaving, or you're gonna start taking care of your beard, it's time to start using those. And that would be beard oil and beard wash. Arguably, those are the most important products. For me, it's not even an argument or a debate. The two most important products for the health, for the styling, for the smell, for every aspect of your beard would be beard oil and beard wash. Now you wanna make sure you find the ones that are right for you, the amount you need to use, all those things can be found on this channel and I am more than happy to help you guys out. My contact information is in the description of the video. But seriously, if yesterday you shaved and today you said, you know what, I'm ditching the razor, I'm gonna be a man, I'm gonna grow out my facial hair, it is time to wash with beard wash that is designed for that skin that's underneath your facial hair and for your hair, the facial hair itself and it's time to start using beard oil. Obviously at the beginning, just a couple of drops, work it into your skin, but it's so good for your skin. So that's day one, or as soon as you possibly can. The other product types are just for the hair and you want to avoid the skin. Now you don't need to be crazy and be like, oh my gosh, a little bit touched, but try your best to avoid it. I recommend using that type of product when you can pinch and pull the hairs. As long as you can grab onto it and you can pull the skin out, now we can start using products like beard conditioner, beard butter, and beard balm. None of these are intended to go into the pores and massage into the skin. Now, right, when you're putting on conditioner, you're like, Dan, if my beard is short, how do I do that? Apply it with an open palm. Do not massage it. Just apply with an open palm. Same with butter, same with balm. If you're going to comb these two in, just be careful just to comb on the hairs. Don't rake the skin. That's the biggest difference. And when would that be, right? It depends on your genetics. It depends on your growth rate. But for most people, it's gonna be several weeks into growing that beard. Now we can start to look at these things. And I wanna break them down real quick. Beard wash, of course, is to clean and cleanse out your pores, to clean and cleanse the hairs, to get rid of salt buildup, to get rid of wax and dirt and just allergies and life and everything that's gonna be on there. That's what beard wash is for. I recommend washing several times a week. I wash every single day, but I use a good daily gentle wash, and then I strip it once a week with a soap. Now, beard oil is something that's gonna nourish the skin first and foremost, and then it's gonna also give some nourishment to the hairs. It's gonna make it softer, it's gonna make it style better, it's not gonna be all dry and brittle. So important, and you wanna apply beard oil to a damp beard. Now, shifting over to the ones that you wanna wait a little bit, Beard conditioner is used to detangle the hairs first and foremost, and then often it will give you some softening properties. I actually don't super recommend conditioner until that hair is kind of a little bit longer, a medium sized beard. However, there are many that prefer it on that shorter pinch and pull, so that's why I included it. And then you have beard butter. Beard butter is primarily for nourishment of the hairs. It's gonna make them softer. It can add a little bit of styling. It can add a little bit of scent, a little bit of appearance of like, uh, kind of like a glisten or a shine to it. For me, I use beard butter at night to really take care of my beard while I sleep. And then the last one that we'll talk about today is beard balm. This is part styling, part nourishment, but it's mainly something that's gonna be a natural firm hold for your beard, kind of like a pomade or a gel or a hairspray for your head hair. It's just gonna be a better version of that for your beard. So those are all the products. I'm not gonna drag this video out because I want new people to find something that isn't a super long video, but I do encourage you, 
look through the other videos, subscribe and check out the future videos. And if you're wondering something, do not hesitate. I respond to every single comment. Leave it down below. I'll maybe link another video. I'll answer it directly or best case scenario, we learn it together and I make a new video about it. I love when you guys give me those ideas. So thank you for watching and welcome to this beautiful community. Welcome to growing a beard, being natural and seeing the confidence that that can give you. And um, even farther than that, once you learn to start taking care of your beard, it starts to translate in so many other areas of life. Thank you guys for checking this out one more time. My name is Dancy Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.